made up your mind which one we're going to use yet? Well, here it is. We went with the 70s look. And I have already done sewed it all the way around. It doesn't look that good. It's kind of hard to get it underneath the sewing machine. But it does look good, my old man says. So we're going to let it go. So now we want to put some borders all the way around. But first I want to start, I want to uh, level all this up around it. So that's what we're going to work on first. It's getting it leveled up. Uh, okay. Let's get this down here. Well, come on. Work with me, yeah. There we go. Go right along. The slide here. All the garbage is. There we go. Oh, come on. What? Okay, let's try this again. It's too early in the morning. I ought to wait a few more hours before I start this. I just woke up. Uh, but I'm eager to get this done. I love working on my quilts. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and trim it around, and then we'll be back and we'll work on the board. Bye-bye, I love you. Alrighty, we hear it. Alrighty, I have cut out the batting, and it will go, this one right here will go up right here, and then I have two cut for the other sides. So, what we're going, this is like eight inches this way. So I need a backing. So I cut the brown one down and now I need two more inches to make it go all the way up to uh, fill up this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down to two inches okay and then I'm going to say so one of each color on the back of this and I think what I'm going to do is put two of these at the top of two of them because I have to have another one and all, because so I only got three. So all these are here going to be cut down to two inches. So I'm going to get busy with that, and we are going to finish this quilt up. Now I'm going to make it a wall hanger. So each um, I want two sides to have where you can hang it on the wall. And I'm going to put one, oh yeah, down here, and the other one on that side, I think. We'll, we'll see. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cut all these down to two inches. And that way I have that done. So I'll be back when we get all that right there done. Okay. I have cut three of these out to be four inches wide. So we can put them on the back to hang, up, hang it up on the wall. So it will be folded and sewed like this. Okay. That will be those. Now this right here is going to be my back. And I'm going to sew these right here onto the back of this. So there we go. So on all these right here have these. And then I'm going to sew all these together. And this right here will go on the front. This one right here will go next to the quilt, the guitar. Then this one right here will go on. And then this one right here will go on. So what I'm going to do now is start on the back. And I'm going to get all the back sewed up. And then we'll be back. Mm -mm. <laughs> Such a hard let you sew. Yeah. She did that with the guitar too. But I didn't have nothing set up for you to 
to uh, commit the cord on. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to... Can't do nothing right now. See, Kitty's right there. I want four cornerstones in the middle. I meant not in the middle, but on each corner of the quilt, there's going to be four cornerstones. And this is what that is cut for. So, I'm going to start off with the what is... Uh, under the guitar, the main color, right here. Well, uh, okay, we'll get that in a minute. It will come off on the other side, but right there. See? Okay. So now. I have these four squares that's going to go there. Now on each one, let's get their colors back out here. Now I got to come up with one more color because I need to put one more on my borders and on this one. So I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to put it on this side, and one of these Put it on this side, and one of these, and put it on this side. So, <clears throat> now I need one more color to go right here. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I don't know if I really want to put this green in there or not, but I guess I'm going to have to, even though I really didn't want to because it frays a whole lot so this is my next thing and I've already got, and got all these right here that goes on the corners or on the sides done so I changed this because this right here really did not look too good against that so I split it up all right so I'm gonna get this done and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out and I'm going to add it to these and to and get this right here done now the way that I want to do this is if you go all the way like that like that and then have this one right here go all the way out that way and I think I'll show you one block so you'll see what I'm talking about so I'm going to take all of this right here down and we'll get one of these and one of these I'm gonna go ahead and put this one to it I'm gonna put this in the middle just as close as I can and all now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna get rid of that part because I don't want it on there okay I'm gonna sew this one down from here to here and I am going to go right on ahead and I'm going to cut this right here now when I do this I want to only sew to the corner almost to the corner leave me a little bitty seam allowance right there and I'm going to do that on the other on all of them and then I'll go back and I'll sew them all together so I'll be back in just a minute okay I forgot to put my back on so I gotta find a back to put on this because I don't I don't I, I don't want to forget to put a pack on it when, I mean I need to go ahead and do it now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my back and because it really doesn't matter at this point. Alright. Oh, this one here is going to help me. Maybe this one will. Alright. I'm just going to cut it bigger than what I need here. So I can trim it down. See here, this stuff frays. See how it's fraying? And I'm really not liking that. Okay, so now then, I have that done. Spy 
I hear you purring, kitty. Alright, so, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to worry about this one right now. That one seam, and I'll pick it up in a minute. Alright, now, our next one, we got this color on. Now we want to put this color on. We're going to have, do it from right here down. Now we want a, to leave a little bit, so if we just do it this way. Do it this way right here. A little bit up so we don't have to worry about any of that. Um, um, okay. <laughs> Not having any up here at the top. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. So now I'm going to cut this one down right there. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to uh, sew it down. Okay, I have that one on. See here when we open it up. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to lay this one down across it. And I'm going to pin it down. And now I'm going to sew this one right here all the way across. Okay. Now I picked up and got sewed on the back where I didn't have the box back on there. All right, now we have this. Now we want to take our next one. We're going to put this one out of the way. We're going to grab this one. We're going to go a little bit up on it. Make sure we got stuff in the back back there. And then we're going to cut this one off down here. And then, we're going to sew this one down, and we're going to leave us a little bit like we did the last time. I want to put another pin in it, because I'm getting a little bit. Alright, now I'll be back. Alrighty, we have that one on now. So... What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put it back down and I'm going to sew this one right here all the way across again to right here because that's about all we need. Alrighty, there we go. Now, the next color is going to go right here after I make up my mind because I cut into that to make it the back of this one. So I'm going to have to find another color to introduce into this to make it work. So I'll probably find a white pillowcase and use it. So I'm going to get busy with this and get my other colors started on all of this right here. And when I get all that done, then we'll be back. Can't make my mind up. All right, I have the one the, with the four colors on this are here and I've got the back part of it with the three colors and I'm putting pretty sides together alrighty now then I want to make sure my top is level up here looks good now I'll put my batting on and I'm going to pin it all down and I'm going to do all Four pieces the same way. Probably need to turn it so it gets pins in it better. Yeah. So put these pins in it better. Okay. And I'm going to do all four of them the same way. So when I get done with that, then I'm going to take and I'm going to stitch in the ditch. And that is going in between these two right here and stitching a ditch, all of them, so that uh, they will hold together and look better. It will make it pop more. So when I get those done, then I'll be back and we'll put these and uh, how, uh, the wall hanging thing on the back of it. So I'll see you when I get this done. Hi, Missy.
You want to say it too? No? Okay. They called him Jesus, he came and left to pardon me, he gave his life to buy I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone because I know he holds the future and life is worth. Okay, we have this side on and this side on. Now this is the side that takes the panel. Let's this down. It takes the panel to be able to go on top of the, you know, to be able to hang it on your wall. So what I'm going to do, I'll flip it this way. Okay. Now I'm going to get this panel, and I do not need this purple one. So I'm going to take it off. Usually you need to sit and pick it. But if you find one side, you should be able to take it off real easy. So I don't need this one. I worry about it for no reason. So there is a mistake that I made. Okay. Now then we have this one. Now we want this side to go right here. So we're going to turn it over. I'm going to get my pins. Now, the batting and this part right here, we want to pin it down because we can't, we're not going to sew it. It's not going to get sewed. So I want to get it out of my way so that I don't have to worry with it. Now, we do not want to go like, let's see if I can get you down here. You see how I got this one? I want to do it the same identical way. This one right here. Okay? Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up. And I'm going to start pinning it down. Oh, got to go up a little bit. pins on the back right here where I 
put the, uh, laid this out. We want to make sure they're not in the needle way. Now we're going to go take it and we are going to sew it. And then whenever we come back, then I'll show you what else. Okay. Now we want to take all these pins out because we don't need these pins no more. And we want to take them out of this up here to top because we are fixing to put it together. All right, put them out of the way. Turn this around where I can get to it. Now we want to pull this right here flat as we can this way. Now we want to take our batting and we're going to, need to trim it down. So I'm going to cut it like halfway in the middle of this thing here. It, it, so that we have batting there. All the way down. Alright. Now then, we have I got way too much here to this end. Okay, now we want to take this last one right here. And uh, we want to start in the middle. We want to turn it under just a little bit. And it doesn't matter if you shove that uh, batting up in there. I would have to start with it, I just seen. Wouldn't I? <laughs> Alright. And there we go. And we're going to pin this down. Well, this world's been a wilderness. And I'm ready for deliverance. Lord, I'm there. Okay, there's what it looks like. That is the right side, yeah. Okay, and then here's what the back looks like. Now, you need to sew this by hand up this way. And sew it by hand where you don't see the stitches. And if I had a bar, but I don't have a bar to use. So, let's see. Maybe I can use this bar. Okay. And that can go all the way. But it, it'll give you some kind of an idea. Let's go with this one. It's, it's smaller. Now, remember now, we need to sew this up. Okay. So we got a bar in it. <coughs> and then it's going to hang like that. And I think after after we get this corner on here, this right here will hold up. Because we'll have that corner. But other than that, I think it looks good so far. So I'm going to finish up the, uh, do this other end. And then we'll work on our cornerstones. Right. We're going to use this uh, ruler and it is... Oh, gee whiz. It's got 0303, so I don't know what that one is. I would say it's probably a, probably a 6 inch. Alright, we're going to put it right in the middle. And hold on a minute. So here's what he was hollering at me about. My tulips are coming up. Aren't they pretty? I like them. So I'm going to put this in the middle. Just as good as I can. Let me go up on that too. And then I'm gonna ooh, wait, stop. Charlie, we don't want to go no further. We want to take uh each. How are we gonna do this? How 
how am I going to do this? Let's see if we can't take this back. We will work on that in a minute. If we have to. But let's whip this off a little bit, each one. And we're going to find my pins. And if I have to sew it back, I will. Okay, that should take care of that area. We'll pin it down. And this one should take care of this area. I do all four of them this way. Just so I can get the get what I need. And if I gotta re sew it, I will. I'm, I'm not beneath the. Okay, now let's see if we can't line this bad baby up. Three on that side, three on that side, three on that side. There we go. Alright, now we are going to give it a whack. around and that's what we got take a pin out do 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 now let's get this out of my way and garbage is way over yonder let's move this uh, once we have to move it again alright now we have this one now, we are going to take and sew, we do from corner to corner right here, pop me a pin in it, pop me a pin over here, what, watch this right here, colors right here not even show up, I bet you anything. But you know what? It really doesn't matter. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Alright, I'm going to go sew that down. Alrighty. Now, we have done that damage. Now, what we want to do from here is we want to take and sew it again on this side. So that it will take up this right here so area. So we're going to give that a try. Okay. Now then. That we got that part. Now we can take. Yes. It worked. Alright. Now we can take and roll this one up. Right like that. And pin it down. And we can take this to the sewing machine. And sew it down. So we're going to give that a try and then we'll be back. If I would have went down just a little bit more, we would not have seen this right here. But I am not going to worry about it. Okay. Now, hopefully, we, we're going to move the cat out of the way. And now we're going to work on this side right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Bend it over. <laughs> Bend it over. Wait. Uh oh. Got a problem. Ha. Huh? Not no more. Pin that down. That goes to my curtain. I can't sew that down. All right. So now here we are on this side. And we want to sew that down right there. And then we'll come over here. We'll slap us another pin. And we're going to go sew this one down. And hopefully we'll do better on this side. Now let's take and let's turn this one in. 
Oh, wait a minute. We got, yeah. We got to sew right here. Yes. Okay, you see how this is sticking out? I'm going to take a pair of scissors. And I'm going to snip that off because that's really long. Look at that cat. She don't care. Yeah, I don't want that on there. That's too long. Yeah, I hear you purring, but you're going to get up. Okay. All right. Now, we want to fold this over, and we want to sew down right here. So far, so good. So that's what I'm going to do. Sew that down. Come on, cat. Would you please? All righty. Now, then. We want to take and I had to be enough of screaming. And then we want to fold this one down on top of it. Like that. And pin it down. So far, so good. Now what I'm going to do after I get this right here so I'm going to go ahead and fold these down and sew these down on both sides here. So, when I get back, this corner will be down. There it is. I think it looks good. Oh, yeah, it does now because the cat's on it. But, yeah, I think that right there is going to work out great. Okay, now what I have already done is, if I can get one... I already done took all those things off and around it. And I just got it down to this pad now. Because they want, th there's no need in leaving them on there if, they're, if, you can't, if you can't see them. So I took them all off and this is what we got. I think it looks good. I just wish it would have went even with this. But it didn't. So I'm not going to worry about it. But it looks pretty. Alrighty. I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to finish putting on all the rest of them I've got them all on now now we want to see if we want to put them notes on there so I have these two this one and a white one and I'm kind of thinking about no that I really don't really want them on there I don't think they look all that fantastic. I really don't. I don't know. I don't think they do. I think I ought to leave it like it is. I think it looks fine like that. I think I like it like that. I don't think I want these on there. Alrighty. So, there it is. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm sorry that so much worked out wrong, but we learned a lot while we were doing it, and that would be pretty as a quilt, that one that, that the corners that I had messed up on, that would look good. So I'm going to get to trimming all these uh, threads off and making my thing that goes on the bottom of who made it. right here patch on I was downloading this get it ready to go on YouTube but I want you to look here's my needle and here's the rest of my needle it broke so I stopped it from downloading and I'm recording it now doing this now I gotta go find another needle I just thought this right here was interesting I so so hard that I break it.